Andy Johnson. This is the Reading Instruction Show. As always, I'm your host, and we are talking about emotional influences on cognitive functioning. Now, there are six basic emotions there. Fear, anger, joy, disgust, surprise, sadness, and stress and anxiety is a derivation of one of these basic emotions. It's a derivation of fear. Now, remember, an emotion is a physiological response to some external event. And we have been hardwired to uh, respond in certain ways. Now, as I've said before, we think and we emote from the same brain. So it's silly to think that our emotions wouldn't affect our ability to read and learn in class. Positive emotions enhance learning. Negative emotions impede learning. Thus, one of the 10 essential elements in a comprehensive literacy program is affect, which has to do with motivations and emotions. We must attend to them in a comprehensive literacy program. Think of a time when emotions got in the way of you doing something. These are all negative emotions. When did that get in the way? Fear, stress, is a physiological uh, response to some threat out there. It promotes the fight or flight mechanism. We have all these things in our body. It tightens up. Blood flows from the important parts of our brain. We don't think as much. The amygdala gets activated, kicks in. We see all these hormones down there kick in to our muscles tighten. We breathe faster to be able to either run or to fight. That's not good for learning. It's good for running from tigers, but not so good for learning. It's some of our children come to school every day dealing with the stress of poverty, dealing with crime, things in the neighborhood, maybe a lack of food at home. These are all stressors that make learning more difficult for some. So we must understand children. Students with learning disabilities, their threat is to their dignity, their self-esteem. They have fear that creates this stress. They fear being found out being not good enough. Fear and stress affects these cognitive functions. Our perception and attention is narrowed to just that. We can't perceive or attend to other things. We are hardwired to attend just to the threat. So anything that needs to be learned does not occur. It impacts our ability to remember things. It impacts our frontal lobes. Remember, the blood is being shunted away from that just to the core parts so we can run our fight and cognitive functioning, especially high level functioning. As well, in a reading program, contiguity. One thing becomes paired with another. When reading becomes paired with a stressful negative experience, when it becomes paired with failure, students are less apt to do it. And we want students to naturally be motivated to read. That's an important part of a reading program. We will talk about motivated students in the next video.